Hey there, welcome back to GG Gaming. And here he is, the mighty seven star terror raid boss, which is Blastoise, which of course is the second in the three that we're gonna get as part of the celebration for Pokemon Day. So really, really cool. We did solo him, uh, wasn't too terribly hard. So we will of course do a couple showcase videos on some good Pokemon to use. Uh, I do apologize, don't have a camera or anything for this video or the showcases because hey, we're on vacation. So a little bit more limited on what we have to use. But otherwise, I still wanted to get this out to you guys, give you a couple options to work with. This video will be all around the Blastoise raid, what to expect and how it works as always. So let's get into this thing. Let's actually sh take a look at this Blastoise. There he is, level 100 from the raid. So this is the one I captured. As always, we'll start with the Terra typing. He is a steel type, all right? Four steel types, which you're gonna look at uh, primarily in terms of builds. You're gonna be looking for fighting. Fighting is great, by the way. It is going to be my kind of recommended build, uh, but overall fighting, ground, and fire going against this guy. The ground types and the fire types struggle a little bit based on which Pokemon it is because of his move sets, which, which we'll discuss here shortly. Um, and you'll kind of understand why those two struggle. I do have an idea with another Pokemon that I'm trying to flush out still as I continue to test that if I can get one to work really, really well, a build to work for him, um, and that is Gastrodon, I will actually post that. Uh, I think there's a really good opportunity to use Gastrodon um, in this raid and, and make it work very well against him. But for the most part, we are gonna focus over here for the showcases, the immediate ones are gonna be Terrapagos and U2. Both work phenomenally well with these builds and are really, really good. So check out those showcases for how those are gonna be set up. Otherwise, let's keep going. Let's keep talking about Blastoise and what, what to expect in this raid. All right, over to the moves and the stats. And as you can see, I've got a side-by-side -side view going on here. With my limited setup, we're gonna run with it for this video here. And of course, we'll get back to the other normal ones. Unless, hey, you guys like this setup, let me know down there in the comments. Otherwise, we're gonna use it for this video uh, so that you can see the raid flow from Cerebi.net, which is the full Mighty Blastoise breakout. And we'll kind of walk through what that looks like along with the actual Blastoise over here in the game on the left. So first and foremost, let's talk about the moves, okay? So I'm gonna bring up the move sets. So Blastoise has, um, and I'm, I'm kind of correlation over here to these move sets here, and then down below, he's got the additional move sets, all right? So that's what we're talking about as we go through this. Um, Blastoise has got these four primary moves. The four primary moves, of course, Hydro Pump, very, very strong, 110 power, but only 80 accuracy. It is it's going to hit the majority of the time, pretty much guaranteed, just to kind of count on that. Um, but it's manageable, all right? And then um, along with the Hydro Pump, he's going to put up Rain Dance, all right? So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you Rain Dance is coded in the additional moves. Additional moves are only used once in a raid. Um, and that's based on a HP or time interval, okay? For Rain Dance, as we go down here to the actual setup, we see Rain Dance is gonna be used at 49% HP. So at 49% HP, Blastoise is gonna use Rain Dance, at which point, the Hydro Pump becomes even stronger. And it will really, really wreck you because he is just insane when he gets to that point. Um, but my builds will be able to manage it, no problem for you. Uh, after that, we've got Flash uh, Flash Cannon. Of course, if we're always gonna have a really good Steel type uh, or really good Move type that matches his Terra type, which is Steel. So Flash Cannon, again, one of the best in the game. Uh, 80 power, 100% accuracy, and the potential to drop your special defense. Uh, my bills will focus on kind of getting him away from using that flash cannon uh, because that flash cannon is very, very annoying, but he is going to use it sometimes. So you kind of have to deal with that, uh, that possibility of lowering your special defense. And we'll talk about that. Next on the list is Aurasphere. Aurasphere, of course, is one of the best special fighting attacks in the game. Uh, coincidentally enough, that is going to be the signature move that we put on Mewtwo down here. He is going to be using that Aura Sphere in that build, so you definitely want to check that out. Um, with Aura Sphere, of course, it never misses. That's really the key, but only any damage. So again, manageable. And his fourth move is an interesting one because it's not an actual attack. It's Iron Defense. So what does this mean? This means because it's an actual move and not an additional or coded move, he is going to be able to use this thing in the background against the NPCs, and he's going to be able to get his defense like maxed out without you really having the opportunity to do anything about it. So you could spend the entire raid trying to cancel out that defense and use, let's say, Iron Hands. Iron Hands probably would have been great in this raid, and I say probably because because of that fact that he has the Iron Defense, he's going to be able to max out his defense. Uh, Iron Hands is not going to be as effective because you're going to have to keep Iron Hands maxed out to even keep up with it. 
Um, and that's just not rational with the amount of damage that's done from a seven star boss. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's going to figure out a viable way to use Iron Hands, uh, but it's not going to be my recommendation. My recommendation is going to be special. All right. We are going to focus on the special, special defense side. Um, special defense. There you go. So we're going to do the special defense side for this uh, in my builds. That's his moves. All right. Hydro Pump, Flash Cannon, Aura Sphere. Those are your damage. And then Iron Defense to uh, really just make it force us to focus special Pokemon. All right. Next, let's finish the move set that he's got in terms of the additional moves. So now we're going to go over here to the right side of the screen. We're going to talk about those additional moves. Okay. First and foremost is going to be Withdraw. Withdraw is going to um, allow him to boost his defense. So again, the same as Iron Defense that we have over here. Iron Defense boosts his plus two. Withdraw, he's going to use right at the beginning of the raid that we see right here with 99% left. Um, he's going to use it basically turn zero before you even get to do anything and boost his defense up one stat point. Um, not terrible because we're going to focus on special. So special attacks and then pretty much making that whole action useless and irrelevant. The next one on the list is Shell Smash. Shell Smash is an interesting one because what it does is it actually drops his defensive stats. It's going to drop both defense and special defense to boost his attack and special attack. And he's gonna use that right here at the 75 HP uh, marker. So at a 75% of his HP, he's gonna use cells. Shell Smash, again, it just fluctuates the stats one point. So it's not the end of the world. We can manage it, we can work with it, um, but it will make these moves over here, these special attack moves, Hydro Pump, Flash Cannon, etc., just that much more effective against you if we don't build properly. Uh, after that, we've got the final move, which is Rain Dance. Rain Dance, again, he's going to use it um, down here, right there, 49% HP. So just below that 50% marker, he's going to use Rain Dance, at which point boosting all of those, that Hydro Pump, um, that primary move, that signature move him, he's going to boost that. Um, and he's also going to activate his ability, which is Rain Dish, which is going to allow him to gradually uh, regain HP in the rain. Um, again, it's manageable because one, he's a raid boss and he has a ton of HP, so you barely even see this take effect in terms of this set ability. It's, it's not even, it, it's not relevant whatsoever in this, in, in this fight, as, my, as far as my opinion goes. Okay, so that covers the moves and kind of the where those those fit into the raid flow. After that, let's go ahead and talk about the stats. As you see from the stat pool over here, he's rounded, very, very well rounded. Um, everything is kind of sitting in that 200 marker, except for the HP at 299. Otherwise, Blastoise is great. He's a beast. He's got good rounded stats. Um, his natural stats, of course, are just as good. His special defense is a little bit higher um, than we see here. But that's totally okay. We can manage that. Um, we'll boost our Pokemon to take care of that. And uh, no, be no big deal at all. Um, overall, nothing special in the stats to address other than, hey, look, he's well-rounded uh, and really nothing too crazy to worry about. So we'll be good to go there. Let's jump over and let's finish this conversation with the raid flow. So we're going to talk about the scripted actions and how the raid actually plays out. And this will make much more sense when you go check out the... Um, one of the showcase videos because I will actually talk about these when they are happening. So essentially what you have is on turn zero, you've got these three here or two items. Uh, so this is going to happen immediately when the raid starts, you're going to get shield activations. So you're going to deal with that shield right up front. You're not going to have the capability to debuff Blastoise or anything along those lines. So don't worry about that. Um, you're just going to focus on basically getting three good moves in and get your Terra typing up so that you can deal with that shield. He's also going to use Withdrawal, of course, which is going to boost his defense stat. With that, he's going to have access to Iron Defense as soon as the formal moves do begin, allowing him to further boost his defense. And this Blastoise is pretty much going to sit max defense the entire raid, and that is the key to why we're going to focus on the special side for our builds. Um, so both of the showcases that we're going to do immediately with Terrapagos and Mewtwo both fully special, both work really, really well against this. And they take that whole defensive thing completely out of the equa equation. After we get past turn zero, the next things to understand is he's going to reset his stats twice. Blastoise's stats get reset two times, okay? So we're not gonna focus on debuff and Blastoise whatsoever. We are gonna let him be, let him max his defense out, and who cares <laughs> at the end of the day, because it doesn't really hurt us. Um, and then we're going to uh, just kind of work through our way through the raid 
ultimately pushing rain dance at 49%. Uh, that can be very, very annoying. So we will approach that in our uh, raid showcases to deal with that once you get to that point. But ultimately just use sunny day, use uh, sandstorm, whatever to get rid of rain dance and you're gonna be just fine. It's a coded move. It's up here under the additional moves, which means he's only gonna use it once and you don't have to worry about it once you get rid of it. Uh, after that, uh, the last thing to note is going to be at 60%, he's going to debuff you. So 60% time, not HP. Okay, that's a key factor. So you want to watch the timer, pay attention. Once he gets to the 60% time part, he's going to debuff you, which allows us then to be able to start boosting our Pokemon as far as we want to get through this fight. So we'll have 60% of the match to be fully boosted and catch up on any you know time we're behind, etc., and get this Blastoise down. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that explains what you're dealing with with this brand new seven star Mightiest Mark Blastoise. Let's get into the showcases. And hey, as always, if this was helpful, drop a like, hit the sub button, throw something down in the comments to let me know how to improve this, if you like this flow, etc. Again, I apologize, we're on vacation, so it's a little bit different look, but I do wanna get these out for you guys either way so that you have something to work with and have and be able to solo this Blastoise. So be on the lookout for those showcases. They will be coming shortly. And hey, we'll see you in the next one.